Hey folks, and welcome to this video on how to use the index and match function in Google Sheets. Index and match are actually two separate functions in Google Sheets, but when you combine them together, it allows you to look up values both vertically and horizontally, which makes it a much more versatile solution. It outperforms the VLOOKUP function in many scenarios. I'm gonna show you how to set up a table like this, where you can choose a person from this table here, which looks into this column, and you can choose something along the top here, like the email address, and it finds that value within this table over here. So let's dive in and take a look at how it's done. It's best to start off with the index and understand how that works. So let's do equals index in here. And what we want to index is this table of data here. So this is the very first step and it's, it's necessary to understand how this works in order to join the match together. So when we index this table here, what we need to specify is the row and the column we want to return. So let's say for argument's sake, we wanted to return this email address here. We can see that that's on the fourth row down within this particular table here, one, two, three, four. So we put a four in here and it's the third column within this table here as well. So one, two, three. So we put a three, put a three in there, close the parentheses and hit enter and we get our email address just here. That is the index on its own. So the index is this table. We specify the row we want and the column, and it gives us that value in that position. So now let's look at the match function. So if we do equals match, now we want to match a particular value. So this is our value we want to match here. So we're going to choose that as our match value. Then we choose our range. Now the range needs to, we need to be able to find this value in the range. So let's choose this range here. That's our range we're looking in. Now we want to specify whether this is an exact match or if, if the table if the table is unsorted, in this case it's unsorted, um, we want an exact match. But if it was a sorted table, we would use one, but in this case, we're going to use zero. Close the parentheses and you can see we're getting a value of four here. So that's telling us that this name is in the fourth position within this table and you can see there it is there in the fourth row down. So that is the match function for looking at a row. Let's look at that again in the column. So same sort of thing, match in there. Now we want to look for the email address in this particular case as our, as our match criteria. And we want to find that along here. That's where we're going to find that value in one of these three columns. And then we again choose the zero for an exact match and then close the parentheses and we see we get three there. So that is in the third column along. So that's them in isolation. So now let's move along and index and the match on the row. So we'll start off with our index. Now in the index is going to be as we did in the first case, this table here. Now ordinarily at the next stage, we would say we want position four within this table here to find this email address here that we did before. But instead what we're going to do is we're going to put our match in here. And the match, if you remember, was this name. That's our criteria, that's what we're searching for. And we're going to look for that in this range here. And again, because it's unsorted, we're going to put a zero for an exact match. And that will return if we hover over, if we select this here, that gives us that four. So let's put the final column in because we know that we want column three just for simplicity. And we get our email address in the fourth position and in the third row. So now we can join that one more time and do the match on the row and the column now. So if we do equals index, we want to index this table here. Then we want to match this value here within this column. And that's an exact match. And then for our next criteria for the column, we're going to do another match. In this case, we're going to look for this value in the header row here. And again, that's an, an exact match we want. Close the parentheses and hit enter and we get what we want here. And of course we can take that one step further by making this dynamic with these drop downs. So effectively we're doing exactly the same thing here, but these are now dynamic. So if we set this up here as an index again, so we're indexing this we're going to match the name in here, in this column here with an exact match. And then we're going to match whatever we have selected in here with one of these column headings as an exact match. Close the parentheses and hit enter. And so we get in this case, human resources, which is this one here. So Sophia Patel has been selected in this drop down, and we're looking for the department. So it gives us this value here. And if we choose, the email address from here, then we get her email address. 
So it's finding this person and this value here and then gives us the returning value where it cross-references there. So this is a really useful formula, especially when it's used dynamically like this to find a, a value within a table. The only thing I would probably say is that you probably should lock these by using the F4 key on your keyboard so that these ranges don't move. Obviously we could lock these as well, depending on where they are in your table, but in this case, I've just left them as they are. And just remember that zero is important if the table is unsorted. So I hope you found that useful guys. If you like that guys, please subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.